Hi friends, welcome to today's session. Thank you so much for all your responses on yesterday. And good to see that many of you are getting right answers to questions. And our yesterday's quiz question was, what is the name of fox jellycat held in Tamil Nadu? And it is Vanga Nadi, that is the fox jellycat. Let's move to today's discussion. First question, consider the following pairs. First one, Nagvasagi Temple, Allahabad, Uttar Pradesh. Second one, Shabri Mala Temple, Kerala. Third one, Pangong Lake, Himachal Pradesh. And fourth one, Mana Village, Chamoli, Uttarakhand. Which of the above pairs are correctly matched? Option A, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Option B, 2, 3 and 4 only. Option C, 1, 2 and 4 only. Option D, 1 and 3 only. Correct answer here is Option C, 1, 2 and 4 only. Pangong Lake belongs to Leh Ladakh region of Himalayas. And these are the Swatch iconic places selected by the government. And Swatch iconic places is an initiative of Ministry of Drinking Water and Sanitation under Swatch Bharat Mission. And remember this is by Ministry of Drinking Water and Sanitation. And this scheme aims to take iconic places and their surroundings to high standards of cleanliness. And the implementation of this project is a collaborative project with three central ministries involved. Ministry of Urban Development, Ministry of Culture and Ministry of Tourism. And more importantly, the partnership of public sector and the private sector companies. Now to the places in our question. First one is Nagvasagi Temple which is in Allahabad, Uttar Pradesh. And Allahabad is now known as Prayagraj. And the temple is dedicated to Lord Vasagi, the king of serpents. And it is situated on the banks of Holy River Ganga. And second one is Shabrimala Temple. It is in Kerala. It is a temple complex located at Shabrimala inside the Peria Tiger Reserve. Dedicated to Lord Ayappa. And there is a restriction to the entry of women of ages between 10 to 50 in this temple. And Supreme Court granted permission to entry of all women in 2018. That was much controversial and the review petition case is still going on in Supreme Court. And next one is Pangong Lake. It is an endoric lake in Himalayas which is situated exactly in Leh Ladakh. And uh, endoric lake means a limited drainage basin that normally retains water and allows no outflow to other external bodies of water such as rivers or oceans but converges instead into lakes or swamps. So it is more like a landlocked lake. It is a transboundary lake between India and the Tibetan Autonomous Region of China. So guys our today's quiz question is based on this. Name one another endoric lake in India. So post your answer as comments guys. So we will move to the another place Mana village. It is a village in the district of Chamoli of Uttarakhand. And it is located on the northern terminus of National Highway 58. Mana is the last village before the Mana Pass and is 26 kilometers from the border of India and Tibet. And the village is at a distance of about 3 kilometers from the Hindu pilgrimage center Badrinath. Moving to second question with reference to Kangaroo Mother Care Program, consider the following statement. Statement 1 It is a program aimed for growth of orphan children. And statement 2, it is a program recommended by WHO. Which of the above statements is are correct? Option A, 1 only. Option B, 2 only. Option C, both 1 and 2. Option D, neither 1 nor 2. Correct answer here is option B, 2 only. It is sometimes called as skin to skin contact and it is a technique of newborn care where babies are kept chest to chest and skin to skin with a parent, typically their mother. Occasionally their father also does this. And all small babies less than 2.5 kg are eligible for KMC. Hence statement 1 is incorrect. And lower the birth weight, more beneficial is KMC to the baby. Sick babies may need special care initially. Therefore KMC should be started after consultation with the doctor caring for the baby. And WHO recommends that it should be continued till baby attains a weight of 2.5 kg or till baby is wriggle out. And it benefits the baby by keeping the baby warm promoting and sustaining breastfeeding and decreasing the risk of infection and promoting the bonding between the baby and mother. 
Last question for the day with reference to Aditya L1 mission consider the following statements statement 1 it is India's first solar mission and statement 2 it will be launched using polar satellite launch vehicle PSLV and statement 3 it will study the sun's outermost layers the corona and the chromospheres which of the above statements is are correct option A 1 and 2 only option B 2 and 3 only option C 1 and 3 only option D 1 2 and 3 Correct answer here is option D 1, 2 and 3. All the above statements are correct. Aditya is India's first solar mission. In fact, I think it is the first solar mission of an Asian country. Correct me if I am wrong. And the launch is scheduled for mid of next year. Let's now look into the few details of this mission. And here you can see the layers of sun. The core is the innermost layer and the corona is the outermost layer. This mission will mainly study about outermost layer corona. And other two layers, the chromosphere and photosphere. Photosphere is the innermost layer of sun among these three. And it is about 500 km thick. And it is the source of light and solar flares. And chromosphere is the next layer which emits a reddish glow that can only be seen in a total solar eclipse. And corona is the outermost layer that envelops the sun and visible to naked eye only during the solar eclipse. And that is the picture of solar corona when moon completely covers the disk of the sun then the corona is visible and its temperature is more than a million Kelvin. Actually the photosphere temperature is only 6000 Kelvin. So this is a mystery or a puzzle as to how the corona which lies above the photosphere and extended up to few thousands of kilometers from photosphere is so much hotter than the photosphere which is only 6000 degree Kelvin. It is still an unanswered question. So our Aditya mission will be studying about this. And also as I said earlier it will study about photosphere, the chromosphere and about the solar wind. And another major point to be noted is that Aditya will be inserted to a halo orbit around Lagrange 1 point. And Lagrange point is just imagine that you are riding a spacecraft and you want to park it somewhere. But you don't have many options to park because most places you park the spacecraft it starts drifting away but there are few excellent parking spots and these are called Lagrange points it is the place where the forces acting on an object are perfectly balanced means the object will be stable so that is the very basic idea of Lagrange point not going into much details and guys here you can see the picture and our Aditya will be inserted to L1 point. So that's all for today guys. Please post your scores and answers to the quiz question in comment section. Thank you for watching.